Is our winter done in the south and east, or do we actually have a chance for more snow and more cold air as we move through February and into March? I continue to get this question in my live streams. We're obviously going through a warm up in the next couple weeks through the south and east, but our current outlook tells us the end of February into March may tell a different story. I want to let you know what's being projected for the rest of winter, so let's get into it. First off, in the short term, like I've been saying, we're expecting a big warm up out in the south and east and a cool down out west. This is from the CPC through February 4th, and this is through the 8th. And along with this very below average cold air returning to the west, we are expecting a return of some decent precipitation as well. But for everyone saying, wait, winter's over in the southeast, I want to show you something. This image may not make much sense to you. What we're looking at right here is our European monthly forecast for the MJO. MJO stands for Madden-Julian Oscillation. Now, the Madden-Julian Oscillation is classified by a moving wave of clouds and rainfall that travels from the Indian Ocean across the Pacific Ocean over a 30 to 60 day time period. Now, the MJO has eight phases. You can see them starting right here at one and then circling all the way around to eight. We can use the forecasted phase phases of our MJO to get a good idea of our troughing and ridging patterns across North America. Right here in the red, this would be a ridge. Right here in the blue, this would be a trough. Now again, troughing is going to be associated with well below average temperatures while ridging, you're typically going to be above average. So to get a more winter-like pattern back out east, we would want some more troughing out east. As you can see here, according to the Euro forecast, we're about to move into phase seven of the MJO. Taking a look at our January to March composites for the MJO, you can see here in phase seven, we typically see on average a warm up out east. But look at what's more common as we move into phase eight and phase one during this time frame. Typically a large cool down out east again and in the south. Our MJO would be expected to move into phase eight and phase one as we push through February and enter March. So that's our first clue that winter really might not be done with the south or the east yet. Here is our Eastern Pacific oscillation. And notice as we move through February, it wants to go significantly negative. This is also associated with colder air out east. And our PNA right now is being forecast to push back towards positive as we approach the midway point of February. Again, what is this associated with? A colder trend out east. Now with all this information, the last thing I want to look at is our AO. Here's our Arctic oscillation, and this is positive right now. When the AO is positive, you typically have a stronger polar jet, and it's building up a lot of cold air in the Arctic. If we were to see this AO go negative as we went into phase eight or phase one of the MJO, this is when you have a chance to see one or two major winter storms at the end of February or through March out east. So again, do I think winter's done with the south or the east? Not quite yet. I actually think things are going to get quite exciting as we move forward through the next couple months. All right, I appreciate you watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every single day and I stream every single night. I'll see you in the next video.